Finally, there we go. Nazo, it's about time to gobble a legend tail. What did you gang gang what did you hey what did you gang gang what did you hi boys darling hi boy babies guys when you want to new to my youtube channel i go by the name of tiamo cpu how to go in and the tone purr the tone purr baby purr <laughs> And to the returning subscribers, get a welcome home, boy, darling. Okay, first and foremost, obviously, certain people you are going to point out certain things because you see them. So I might as well just address the elephant in the room. Yes, um, I'm a bit high, and get prescription. So yeah, it's prescribed by the doctor, and. What else? Um, it is literally <laughs> two. <laughs> it is literally two a.m. <laughs> and I was hosting my friend, so I asked them to leave because sis is very tired. But I was like, you know what? As much as you might have some difficulties with the camera or the speaker, you know, um, we might just make this work. So I hope it actually works in my favor. So I'm going to try and not rumble a lot. But yeah, I thought to let you know that yes, I am high. And yes, currently it's 2 a.m. The time is. And I thought of before having to even go any further, I thought to address some of y'all, you know. Um, I think it has been three or four years back since I started my YouTube channel. Um, I know this is besides the point to the story, but I, I see fit to actually address it now because I'd like to believe that certain people do not get me or understand me in a way that I'd like for them to, you know. Um, if you have been an OG, you know, Hora, I tend to be very much unfiltered. You know, I tend to offer them and, you know, in between i'll say what i'm joking or just laugh about it so that you understand and know that not to take it so seriously you know um yes we might argue on certain points and maybe say okay certain things here more they are off limit or you should not say or joke about um it's not my intention to offend any of my subscribers i want you guys to understand that i'd really appreciate the love support you know those that constantly keep on commenting liking my videos sharing my vi videos it really means a lot because it takes a lot having to be a content creator or a youtuber you know which is something that i fell in love with three or four years back i need to make sure that i'm not certain as yet because yeah so i want you to know and understand that i'd really appreciate another support hence i'd expect that or i'd like to believe that i actually built or created this youtube channel to accommodate all different types kinds of people with different sexualities and views you know and obviously we ought not to quite agree on certain things but i'd expect for whoever that i happen to have offended in a way to be the one maybe to call me into order you know guys i'm available on my instagram i'm available on my facebook you can tell me because i was watching your content and i didn't like one five three seven eight and ten you know um we have a comment section on here on youtube for a reason so that you can leave your input be respectful about it and i am a human being i make mistakes and yes as much as i'm trying to entertain you guys i'm also trying to be myself and sometimes being myself can be a bit of a cringe to certain people for which i i understand and respect that we're different people we're into different things and that's okay you know but what i do not appreciate is when i start losing subscribers this channel is not quite defined by subscribers but in a way the subscriptions and interaction are a validation for me to continue producing content for my subscribers i'm not sure if it makes sense you know if i see that the reaction lags or the engagement 
obviously i get demotivated hence that's why you end up having you know that's why you end up having a lot of upcoming youtubers decide to leave youtube they get as far as maybe having 300 subscribers 500 subscribers even thousand and leaving youtube because they know how hard they've been putting out work yet the recognition that they deserve is not what is granted you know um so yeah i'm going to leave it that far guys please i hope i've put my points across and i'm really sorry again if i ever get to offend anyone that is never the intention here with me um if i'm addressing something and i make it very clear that it's something that i experienced in my life i'd expect people to either relate to it or understand my point of view if we don't agree on certain things that's okay everyone is entitled to their own input i know that i tend to be jolly and you most probably think oh, yo, this channel is witticking everything tiamo that he speaks sex i'm not gonna lie one of the reasons why i actually got to stick into the whole marking um creating more content about teaching y'all guys about anal sex um about how to take care of yourself how to prepare for this that and the other and my vision breaking story is because also that is mo the videos that get most views you know given that i'm trying to grow um that is me i'm talking about me on my behalf it's me i'm not talking about any other youtuber because I, I i can already feel someone behind the camera saying but there are people that do something different to you but they're making it out there that's them i'm me that's the difference and because of ronaba bang pelaro ba le batho mo industry lenga se ke le re squeeze in la talhane but i'm joking also about that <laughs> that is so unnecessary but i hope i make sense so yeah guys um road to a thousand i'm gonna up the mask on a bit and make sure make sure guys you know we're family i got you i love you you know you get let me not rumble too much anyways let's hit it so guys first and foremost obviously you know it's been years exaggerate but it has been quite a while since we actually had story time and even myself i'm like whoa story time we don't know because like, should be local, like i was also looking at having to leave story time completely because sometimes i feel like i'm letting people a little bit too much into my life you know to a point where someone can carry a specific narrative or assumption about or draw the conclusion as to the kind of person i am how wild is that have you ever stopped and thought or maybe i'm making all these story up to entertain you all not that i'm doing that or not that i'm not but <laughs> have you ever because this is something that almost every youtuber does like guys verify and obviously so that okay anyways so today's drink of preference oh chate making this thing so low like if you have nails you're in trouble but yeah today i'm having chateau dal Rizzi. it's unpaid promotion and no i'm not an alcoholic thank you kind regards twanks i hope it was the laptop i hope i hope it was the laptop because a company i see again in that so anyway now you're gonna help it grow okay if let's go on a person i regular partial ferrari mb come at the house oh my god i'm struggling to open this and Kimoni Angela, I will like a man, no? but I don't want to lose any of my teeth. So <laughs> I feel like that's a bit risky. <laughs> Unless I end up with Introtra, who likes head. Apparently, hey, hey, the Cop Cop 1000, it hurts on a different level. When you don't have teeth, boys cheat on your girlfriends with a person that doesn't have teeth. Just for that experience. Yo guys, what about he just apologized. What about now? <laughs> so yeah guys, I'm struggling. Oh crap. Okay, finally. There we go. Nazo. It's about time to gobble a legend tale. 
na if you know you know re na ke nna mo geng wa di shoes na ke rata ka stro ke rata ba re wa yo nwa ga gola anke re ja beka ke a beka love that video so much mm, sometimes aba zali ba ra le rata cuz mbago to power to the woman power to the parents the dead beat father skadala yo skadala sensitive viewers almost i should be no click and no click off skadala stick with me stick with me let me stop rambling okay as you have seen by the title of this video i am coming back with the story time and it's not as spicy as i usually make my story times but it's something that hit home you know in a way Some of you have been riding with me. Some I went to school with. Some have been supporting my channel. Some have been supporting my side hustle. If you don't know, now you know. I am also a makeup artist, and I'm into events management. Like salary one, that's a unye o survive, unye o survive. Not in this time, life, and age, Kesana. That's why I love to wear the same booty, booty, booty. I give a charge. So I'm so good, Zima. Ah, mm mm. It's going down. So, anywho, um, yeah. So, um, if you have been the OG, you know about my coming out story, and you know also about the bullying that I had to endure in high school. You know the things that I went through, basically. You know, um, the body shaming, the bullying at school because of my um sexuality or homosexuality. Um what else? The just the constant homophobia that I had to deal with around like having to become this person who I'm very much proud of today. It took a lot. Like it really took a lot. Hence when I sense the vibes in Yanazabo homo homo or someone treating me different or treating me otherwise it shakes a nerve like it makes me very much uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie. It really does get to me because I'm like yo Then I was thinking for I'm making so much progress and even at this big age I have to deal with people that lack education and information or are choosing to be ignorant to the fact that people like myself do exist you know some people enjoy their haters because they see themselves in us twisted I know and most people because of the inner closet they just do not appreciate the whole thing of us being comfortable and you know just being free You know, there's nothing as amazing like leaving your truth. Nothing as amazing as that. So to any gay guy out there who's looking at having to come out, babe, take your time. But just make sure that you don't get stuck there. You know, the sooner you allow yourself the better. Like I had to go to pride to actually understand what I'm saying right now. And the best highlight of having to attend Pride was having to know and see, or rather, understand that I'm actually not the only one. And having to be a homosexual is not a disability. Not to say that there's anything wrong with disability, but in a sense where people would want to look down upon us, you know, judge us in that sense, or just choose to, you know, um, undermine us or. choosing to go for understand that like to look down upon us or criticize us for some reason um we have different views some people will say but this is against the bible i choose to grasp whatever i feel relates to me when it comes to the bible and i feel like a bible is more like a guideline but each to their own guys bible says this bible says that i almost said it sometimes self contradicts itself cuz yeah based of how we choose to interpret it but yeah i firmly believe in god and i know god loves me and i've made it this far because of god i am currently 25 years of age and i'm still going thank god thank god for the nurturing protection and just guiding me and reminding me that he has me but anyways so yeah um i'm rambling a lot and i'm really sorry but Loki I'm so emotional thinking about the journey you know of having to get to this level shout out to the transgender um to the transgender um women there to anyone who's part of the LGBTI community it takes a lot to embrace and give your truth I'm really proud of you Amanda
to Songe Kentase. But anyways, so my cousin um decided to invite me one time. <laughs> Why does it still feel so brand new? So my cousin decided to invite me and we are going out to a place known as I'm gonna mention them because I, I don't see myself going back there. I have no intention of even having to say good things about them. Apart from the fact that obviously the manager or the boss, I'm not sure if the boss changed, but the boss of this place at that time, super kind, amazing person. But anyways, let me not confuse you, right? So my cousin one time hits me up. I wasn't busy, it was during the day. He's like, Cuz, would you mind? Um, are you interested in having to tag along for like a vibe, a nice chillers at a club? I'm like, What? A club experience? Who wouldn't say, like, who'd say no to that? It's like, No, and don't worry, like, I have everything covered your alcohol, your food, like, you know, just make sure that you bring like two friends of yours so that maybe you don't feel otherwise given that my crowd will be there. And you know, so if I'm not mistaken, I think my cousin was hosting or co-hosting but it was some co coexisting business with the club owner right so um i decided to honor the invite and obviously i invited initially i wanted to invite my other friend who's very much posh because i'm not gonna lie guys there are certain places where you can't take some of your friends to you know we know our friends we know how they behave we know how they carry themselves we know the things that they keep capable of so obviously you have to keep that in mind every time you choose to want to invite a friend out right that is as per my analysis not like it's a no go the same way i feel the taverns are not for me it's to their own okay and who's Sharp, okay. Um, he invites me. Obviously, I will look up the place, which is the first thing that you need to do. You know, the best thing when you're going out, look up the place, check out the ecstatic building, read reviews. You know, get the menu, see if it's within your range or your budget. You know, if the finances are financing, can I say, do that super shy because wow, wow, what I feel like I'm going to say, my car will be rubbish. Oh, my car is a horror, but I have like 500. Or a bar, hey, hey, bar, you know, restaurants are scams, guys. And going out, ah, we're to order platanya, na platanya, na, and when they say wing, <laughs> they drop another the wing half, guys. Ever since I've attended Mugruva and all these places, and had the experience at wing, I'm traumatized. I'm honestly traumatized. I don't think I'll oversee or overlook or get past the trauma because wow. This could happen to you. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, this maybe you might feature it as a Malpang. Remember I told you about my friend Figi Leo Salskotters. I'm a consistent hand and my weight is upping so nice. I'm still looking at having to tone. Oh my god, is it cold? Mm. Mm. One thing about Figi Leo. Mm. Um, that's really nice. Hmm. Okay, let's clear the throat, child. Let's clear the throat. Okay. And who's? So, yeah. Um, my cousin decided to t to inform me about My cousin decided to invite me, right? I can't remember if it, she was hosting or was it her birthday, but I don't think it was her birthday No, I think it was the first time and then obviously there was some events he is So it's like okay, cuz I'll grant you VIP access Come with two, two more hands. Obviously, you know, like they have to be those kind of hands The person that I wanted to invite wasn't wasn't in the country at that time country or province rather wasn't in the province at that time but i was like oh crap who do i have in mind i have girlfriends who are very delicious so i was like you know what i'm going to take my chances and select two specific people <laughs> so let's give this alias's names right one kutomiza veza 
Versa because she really showed her true colors. And then the other one, Kutlo Minza Hasla. Versa Le Hasla. Okay, sharp. So I decided to hit up Versa and Hasla, right? And I told them to prepare, and they obviously they asked the, one of them at least asked um this question to Sir how and then like the finances how are, are we going to go about the whole payment of you know think ahead. That other friend is like me. The other one doesn't care as long as we there we have arrived. <laughs> we drank, we moshed, we bottled, we dropped the clubs, the throw the kicks. You know it doesn't care as long as we there. Location, ribo, ribo. Okay, cool. So obviously we prepare, we prepare. You know, baby, I pulled through, guys. Mira, and this was what three, four years back. Keep in mind, me, I pulled through. You know, I do the damn things. I do the damn things. Fashion sense like I could only know like that. I need to run your coat to land. You don't, Asana. Need you going nowhere, can I do? So yeah, as you can see, boda. I'm still that girl. It'll never change. And I'm so proud for you. At least my girl will feel it. She never says, Girl, girl, you want to leave that business up for the expensive clothes I'm out of my house. I can't help looking. This is a bitch. I'm like, Woo! It's not big show. Wait, Kiki. This is a girl. I'm not going to eat expensive brands. But anyways, it's not because I'm happy. Yes, I know. Yo, uh-uh. Let me stop. Let me stop. Anyways. So, obviously, I prep, I prep, I prep. Hey. So, let me give you a background story. Hasla has a tendency of wanting to borrow other people's clothes. Used to be, I'm not sure if she has changed because we're not friends. Um, I'm not going to say good readers because we did have like our good moments and memories. But I'm just going to say some things happen for a reason. And sometimes we're grateful when such things happen. Okay, cool. The name of the club is Booth, guys. <laughs> cool. Sorry. I was very damn. Bang tiger tiger phenom golo man. Okay, cool. The name of the club was Booth. All right. Initially, I had wanted to go to Sumo. I still want to because I want that kind of experience. I hate having to judge a place based of based on reviews, because I feel like we all could have like a different experience, you know. So cool. My cousin invited me to Booth. Dress code, I had to look it up and actually be sure, okay, what's the dress code, what's the deal here? And it was more like semi-formal, you know? If you know semi-formal, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But that night, that night's event was very prominent. So obviously, I chose to pull out the big guns. I was wearing my heels, you know? And I get it delicious, man. Was I wearing my heels? And did we go? Okay, cool. I'm trying to remember, guys. It's been a while. Please forgive me. Because I'm trying to give you the details without having to sabotage the spice up. Because people of interest here might come and they might get me like, I'm going to trap you. I'm going to trap Not for content. And 429 subscribers. Hey, hey. Yo. Okay, cool. Um. Uh, but again, we decided to request. Um, it was around about six years, right? We decided to request. Now, oh, one thing about Vesa, Vesa's fashion taste is on par. Vesa was that girl. I'm not gonna go with the details of why I'm saying was that girl, but Vesa was that girl. Yo, Vesa was behind also like some of the inspirations with my taste. In life things, you know, and especially when it comes to fashion related issues. Oh, oh, babe, that girl, Veza. Oh, got I Veza. Oh, good to wow, I'm that girl. So I always respected her. The other one, I'm pretty much sure, has good, good, big boobs, has a great personality. But, anyways, let me not linger too much. Okay. We decide to request. We request, we get to the place, we get to the venue. Obviously, as we enter, my energy in gym starts to sag. I'm like, guy, man. I know her every time I get this kind of feeling, it's most probably because I know her something's gonna go wrong or something is just not sitting right with me. We enter, guys. 
that place majority of the people have to be congolese people you know these prominent foreigners that come guard the intentions of smuggle the drugs or what human trafficking and get lena pela sele jelo di minya ka master le di platta le di savanna fetsa batlo di nyama ba le utswa net so mara re le judge it's to that one okay sharp as we enter obviously i get side eye by one of the bouncers i'm like Tell me, maybe you're sort of like looking too much into this. I'm like, but like my instinct is barely wrong. That's how deep this is. Okay, sharp. Um, we decide to enter. As we enter, I'm like, okay, we we go down through the stairs. This is the one in Senton, right? We go down through the stairs, and obviously it's dark, but there's light, like only the disco lights inside. We enter two bunches. I think it was a female and a male, as they should. And as I'm about to um, go towards the female um, bouncer, he directs me to the male. I'm like, I know P. Well, I had my mustache on, but I had a full face beat, right? But not this heavy. I was still starting, you know. You could tell what I some kind of progress. At least the way in I thought of Leia Bonnie Sugu Tai Begazela, you'll get there, my dear. Okay, cool. We enter, guys. Um, as we enter, obviously that bouncer checks my bags. That bouncer looks at my shoes. It's like, um, was I wearing flat shoes or what? So, but he made a remark about my shoes not really being wanted there because I don't think they were high heels, man. I think they were just you know simple heels. By that time, Pella, hey, you got the same afun ukzamungulungul bagiti. So so Pella six inch. Hey, na kana osha patemla uwa mo Pella dirata hao. Oh Jesus. Next time, man. But I never wore those. Those shoes are very co- comfortable. Don't get me wrong. The ones that I reviewed on my previous vlog. But that heel, man, it's not make sure, man. There's something about it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Something about it is off. But if you know, you know. Ooh. Anyways. Um. Okay. So my cousin spots me and my friends and he decides apparently my cousin also knows like um give us alman hustler so my cousin has a relationship with hustler they went to school and whatever the case might be i don't know if i tell her my daughter but that's on them but they have a history but at least that time it was under good repo right we get directed to the vip table i'm like okay that's nice you know princess treatment nah there's nothing that i put forward like respect it can be a woman it can be a guy you respect me i respect you i feel like that's fair for life to operate that way you know so cool my cousin directs us and then here comes this guy very friendly very polite it's like hi guys how are you i hope you're good um i hope you enjoy the experience this 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 um my name is i'm gonna give him a name innocent so innocent comes through he's like yeah i hope you enjoy your your experience here with us and we're very happy to have you like i'm so happy i'm like yeah this guy is so sweet i I even like made that comment as he was about to leave so we sat down that the alcohol started coming right and on the um alcohol bucket it's it's expensive beef so it's that kind of like alcohol right so obviously i'm still new to this hey so so that's why, hey, I reckon it's her like I decided. Oh, Jesus. I love some of those in Bali. I'm a basketball. I'm a high star. I'm a hustling boyfriend. That it is understandable. Because the pain of hard work is not really there. Like, I'm high. But anyways. Yo. So, my cousin decided to bring those. I don't know if they had hub by that time. I'm not sure, guys. But I'm going to assume that there was hubly. So, basically, we were, like, they really, they really set. And then my cousin comes to me. Cousin, if you need 
like top up with juice because obviously we already had the alcohol and we three people for two bottles come on like about a dunk guy like about a juju take it back ah ah to be a girl jaja ah hey hey this is a so cool two bottles on the table nice views boy the kibara is liquid hey guys people wear the skimpy outfits i'm like hmm this is a different side of the world. No, no, I can't remember. I was like, I'm still in Zambia. I can't remember just saying I was going to be in Zambia. Okay, cool. How? Eh, sharp. Okay, eh. We're drinking. It's nice. So obviously, as I'm about to sit down, I, I, Uvisa, Uwiki, I'm like a journey, but really, and Uvisa, you only have to have a iba a plaga. Uvisa, you put bass in your way. Like ukapi wa itsalo ko presti aso replaka ake sumkore biyala mo sa mata taka and then umatlo tsa on sa like Vesa is a girl that can like that is easily provoked, easily provoked. Like he becomes over sensitive, over dramatic, over extra G. Understand that? How do you behave? I okay cool. How we into the bottle? I let that girl try yar hora hey hey. Hey, but I'm not that, you know. I obviously you know with alcohol, you know as soon as you go to the toilet or getting as soon as you go to the loo, you know how it's about routine, guys. First time it happens, um, I asked my friend, I'm like, okay, one should obviously sit here and look after the table because my cousin is busy. What is that? Oh, busy with the owner, like they doing their damn things there. So I'm like, one should st- to stay. Mota fling and then one uncap whoever wants to pee like will exchange like that which is fair right okay cool so I think I left um hustler I left hustler no 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 I left Vesa there right I left Vesa there and one of the reasons why I left Vesa there um I was getting a little bit irritated with Vesa right because Vesa she was starting to work on my like she was starting to work on my nerves. Like every time I try to reprimand him, like we'd behave oddly or do certain things or do like give me like snacks, look, nje, get ah ah ah, oh wabona no, and get wada, I get, and then laugh. And that time is serious, guys. I'm getting mad because I hate when you act out of character, and then we left nje in shock. Hi, okay, cool. So I go up with us, like guys. So as I I walk up the stairs with Hasla, right? Um, Hasla, obviously I get we get there. There's a female bouncer, there's a male bouncer. Guys, I try to walk in the female's toilet. Guys, okay, let me explain this, right? Again, we can agree to disagree, but also Loki, I understand where they're coming from, but I feel like the approach was a bit absurd for me, right? I'm okay. It's nothing taboo. If you're here on this channel, you already know that, right? Um. The toilet, there's no toilet. Okay, obviously, in clubs they have female and male, and then you find at some establishments they actually have like your to- toilet for disabled people and toilets out in Chabana. You know, there's like a lot of options, especially at malls. But in this case, clubs they only have female and male. Correct? Cool. I get there as as my friend drags me into the female toilet. This bouncer, like grabs my hand so aggressively so i stop obviously like i'm trying to process like the pain or the, stif- the, the stiffness of this grab i looked at him and then he's pointing me into the male's toilet i i'm like I, okay you know what no pee guys i enter guys i've never Woo! it's hitting me now because it did get me i felt so small I felt so utterly disrespected. Despite Hore, they don't even know who I am. They have no interest of knowing who I am. But I'm a human being, and I also have rights as a homosexual being to be treated fairly and with respect. I feel like approach is something that is very important, hand in hand with communication, right? Um. So he grabs me. I look at him, guys. It was. Like a very stiff grab, like my hand was literally painful at that moment. So he lets me go. He points me to the other direction. I I walk in because as I walk in, there are men, 
there are men like standing on the getting urinal can correct the dictionary please this they're busy peeing there by the urinal and then some are coming out of the toilets and now my main aim with entering there i wanted to enter the toilet so all the toilets were preoccupied guys i'm wearing heels now i remember guys i was wearing heels <laughs> makeup mini cross dress guys i had to stand on that urinal and actually like pee with heels on i had to zip it down that time next uh, next time a baby had to take it now i wasn't stressed about the taking and and fyi taking are very uncomfortable it takes a lot to be a gay person yo so i'm not saying i loom or see sa policy cat literally once and for all but anyways so cool that happens okay so um it happens and then obviously i'm in shock but i'm still peeing whilst trying to process what just happened like three minutes ago i walk out my friend asked me are you okay i'm like i babe i'm okay i look at this guy no remorse whatsoever okay cool we walk down guys still oh no 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 before i confuse you so as i'm peeing <laughs> a guy walks in this guy is hella drunk he walks in guys and i'm as he walks in by the door he looks at me he looks at <laughs> this was the highlight of the night though by the way he looks at me he looks at uh the the sign that shows that male sign right and then he looks at me again he he <laughs> hey hey he nods his head he's like mm -mm. he looks at me again he looks at the side and then he looks back like behind me see girls going that side he looks at me like he was very confused then he takes three steps inside and immediately walks out <laughs> i'm like okay <laughs> this guy was most probably very confused for which i understand right okay cool um I walk out with my friend. My friend asks me, are you okay, babe? I'm like, I am okay, babe. I'll be fine. We walk down. As we walk down, guys, how? Please, someone tell me where Veza went. Like, can someone tell me where Veza went? We look not far from the bar. Veza is twinking. Girl. Girl, I'm a twink. Hey, bar, Eva. Le, bar, kio, kiel. Watch, Eva. Whatever, yeah. Yes, yes. Whatever, girl. I'm like, okay, girls in the air is in the mood. Two minutes later, girl is busy there, hanging out with Jolof. Girl, oh good. Can I rather Jolof rice marang? Oh, sana bona godwa. Oh, Jesus. Can I? Okay, cool. They chilling. I'm like, okay, it's just a civil conversation, guys. Didn't. Veza get us shots keep in mind that there's alcohol on the table shots why you understand that shots yes one can argue her no man Tim is out of the goodness of his heart of, of her heart that's why you got your baby listen baby girl told me that he doesn't have enough money hmm? for this event for this occasion I told him don't worry hmm? and then two minutes later that he shots who's paying is very important to the little boot who's big because <laughs> <Boom. laughs> okay cool babe you bought shots yes i bought shots let's drink let's drink up guys cheers happy new year hey, girl girls in the mood girls in the air is the feelings get a baby girl Miguel. get away it's a full of virus Vroom Vos! Come on, she won't give Vroom Vos! I'm a killer, no! Babe bought me a car. Ha! Fast so! Silly baby! Get a means, guys, like, politely. Babe, can I talk to you? Babe, why did you get this guy? What are the religious shows? Like, what if I forced a horror as a melon? Hi! I ain't in jail, eh! Hey! I'm a woman! I know my rights. I know this one pose a woman of empowerment. Why? 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 Be like you would listen to the full out. The shots be a guy. 
Ah, pues ahora me llega más tíos y ellos no aquí, but where is the alcohol going? Like, when I stand on the car for that drama, they are necessary attention from Bobo Menz about some of our things. Cause I'm not new. Like, I'm just saying, in that emo of alcohol, that tempo guy, ooh, cheese holes. I okay, cool, guys. Hey, wait, I'm still in shock. I I don't drink mine. It's like ah, she does this ah, oh uptight, god baby girl. First and foremost, I brought you here for which I very much regret. Understand? I brought you here. O kile mo ka na ke gethi le gore ke ona gana le gore ke tlo mema. This is not the kind of behavior that I was looking to. At least all the tatela man nationally civil is can I be able to feel like casually. Obviously, it's civil, you know, like conversations and just a slight slight this thing to gore o tlo o le motho go tla ponga ha guys. Okay, sharp. Eh Wait a king, let's have a little bit of a lawyer. Five minutes later, this guy's like, let's go. Ara, go ahead, ara, help me up at that. And mind you, we're now looking close to having to leave. Okay, before we leave, I veil, I see photographers. Hey, this got to me, guys. I see photographers. Someone, I don't know who said what. Obviously, I did spot one other gay person, so I was like, okay, because at some stage, like this place made me feel as if maybe they're not welcoming of homosexual people. I'm not gonna lie, like you feel it, you feel the tension, the stairs, it's awkward, like you feel it. Yo, I okay, sharp. I see that guy. Obviously, give my yana yana ba pushy or ba no kiri handbag. It's a bully banza or ba ba badly. I okay, sharp. Oh, how? Um, the photographer. Obviously, I I wave to the photographer to come and take us pictures. Guys, the photographer takes a picture of girls that are sitting next to me, and deliberately cross me out. Takes pictures of girls sitting on the other side of me. Ne? Deliberately cross me out. And here I was thinking, or maybe but on gas ne pekili one. Then he goes back and take us a picture. No, okay, cool. I'm like, okay. I'm like, at least I have a picture, I have a memory, and I've seen the quality of their pictures on the internet. It was very good. So, guys, what I forgot to let you know on is that so after this photographer took us pictures, right? Obviously, you know that these clubs or whatever events they tend to post um these their pictures on like their social media pages guys didn't i go and check on the social media pages only to realize that this guy only decided to post the pictures he took of the girls and the one that had me in it he didn't post it i had to get that picture via my cousin guys i was so heartbroken like yo i'm go akashem i'm not sure now cuz I lost all attention attachments and connections that relate me to that club like Kim Knight Fade like a grand no more I okay sharp well, obviously um the food agreement apparently they are not selling food there so obviously there are food stalls outside I now my mood is feeling otherwise I'm ready to leave guys like I was very much ready to leave I'm like you know what It's fine guys let's go it's been a night and we enjoyed we drinking obviously you know we I might stay in there and that place obviously the space I'm not sure if the other side cuz I heard that there's a secret space that they tend to open up but that time that I went it was so clustered but the stage in yana sate ke mathong ke khona nyana nka re ke ke di local artist Kiri local artist in your local township or le paranya na le ro tsarampo wana tsenda set up vibe khona ya da ene ke rai okay ke baba ba chai vai it was nice it was nice the performance by Jennifer by Jai Velo we do rai very cute to my to make and so on i okay cool guys we decide that we got to go out okay so i told my cousin cousin thank you for the hospitality this 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 it really means a lot i truly appreciate the invite I'll see some other just like oh thank you for ordering it I hope you had a blast yeah 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 obviously I didn't want to tell her on the go about what I felt I experienced in case now it might come across as if a big difficult cuz not everyone gets the feeling of being in my f- shoes you know okay cool the friend ya nonke o lahlile sthlaku uveza ke tsebe o lahlile sthlaku 
Guys, are you going to let's talk? Rabuto to be, Rabuto to be, I got this type secure. Oh Jesus, I never subscribed to babysit. Cause I got the things that we have to go through for friendship. It is what it is. Side, you are people that can't handle that liquor. Oh, sad. It's really sad. Not gonna lie. Cause anything can really happen. Imagine if you don't have friends that only want the best for you. You fight. So you can be human trafficked, you can be, you know, unless if you're drunk, because that is also a possibility in these clubs. Very dodgy, if you ask me. Okay, cool. We get up the stairs, we had to go back and look for the shoe. We found the shoe, got back, we waited for the Uber. And as we waited for the Uber, this guy comes out. This guy is still fighting to go with my girl, because remember, I bought you, you and your friend six shirts. You know, it's always the broke guys, they feel so very much entitled. Yo! Six shot, how about carbo to or rekile benchido or rekase di shares zako booth. Car kill in that old deal. Are what the heck? Hey, next thing they're pulling. Obviously, now the bosses are going to try and be involved. Cause what's happened? Why are they fighting? Now it seems like it's a couple fighting. I'm like, as as fuck. I'm chill. I'm in as. Hey, I was tired to get back alive. I'm not. I'm cool. Thank you, baby Jake. Hey, guys. <laughs> okay, eventually, Venom, baby girl wins because the man did decide to side with, with him, with her, and the Uber arrived. So, obviously, we got kebabs and we got home. Got home safe, but the highlight of that entire experience, Booth is very homophobic. And that's just me, you know? That is as per my experience. We have different experiences, as I said, but I'll never set food in that place or club again. I'm um, thanks. I'm um, thanks, Kim Taze. And yeah, um, be mindful of who you have in your spaces, who you invite, especially going out. Guys, now times are rough, you know? Um, calling someone a friend goes as far as that being a title. Sometimes you have to also have your guard up, you know? Never let it down, babe, because our mouths won't. You don't know a person. Even our friends in jail, they're capable of doing just about anything to inflict pain on us. But yeah, um, I hope you did enjoy the story time. And I'm sorry, it wasn't spicy. Guys, about Omar Nashabilo Hore, maybe get you to the toilet, helicopter, helicopter. I don't know. Harry keep it class. How to keep it let's take this as rebranding in a way. I'm gonna come back with spicy stories. Garlena gets one Lerata Ninta Banina Bunda Bini. But yeah, please make sure to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe. And I'm all darling. And I'm gonna love.